actually is like the basic things about the dynamic 365 and how we can go to the business uh, central account from where can we get an access we will get an overview about dynamic 365 because for the upcoming sessions we will go in more detail and also we will see from where i can start and what do we mean by dynamic 365 so before we start talking about uh, or doing a live demo what do we mean by microsoft dynamics actually so microsoft dynamics 365 is a line of enterprise resources planning and also customer relationship management crm we call it crm software application and actually it's like a tool from microsoft that will help you through the network or even uh, with different solutions that we have it and once we open the dynamic 365 you will be able to see different solution for the sales department for different areas so let's see or let's start with the first part from where from where can we get an access and how we can log into dynamic 365 Let's start with the live demo and let me open now the link that I'm going to share it on the description. Plus, I'm going to add it now to the to the uh, chat window. So let me copy the link and share it here. Just a minute. So the first step, actually, we need to go to this link. Let me open it now. Here we go. And actually from there, we need, to, we have two options. Either if you have uh, already an account, you can sign into this account or you can get or click on get started. So if I want to click on get started, let's see what kind of pages that we have here. We have here different like solution or a free trial that you can log in and start work on it. For example, here, if you look at it, they divide it to a different categories sales service marketing customer data platform and more and more and even we have for hr customer feedback so for example if i pick the marketing you will be able to see and you can try it for free so if i click on try for a free now we have an option to sign in if you have an account already or you can add your email and to check if you need to create any new account. For example, I'm going to add my my personal email and let's see. Actually, if you add a Gmail account will not work with you, but let's try it now. I'm going to just show you that if you add a Gmail, it will not work with you, but let's see. Oh, it's working. So can connect, okay, enter your, oh, we cannot, so we need to enter another email. So for any Gmail or any other domain that not related to Microsoft, you will not be able. So let's try to enter another personal email for me. I'm going to try to add the Outlook and see if I'm able. Actually, from this page, you will be able to build your environment as a first step. So I need to add or my work email. So I'm going to add the email for the environment that I have it. I hope it will work. Let's see. OK, so it means we already a Microsoft customer and I have already an access, so I just need to sign it. And from there, I will be able to look at the package and see what kind of things that we have there. So now we already signed into the customer insights and let's see what kind of things that we have. So from there, actually what we need to do, actually we just need to fill the information like the, the country, the region, if we have, I'm not sure if we have Saudi Arabia and I can mention this and then I will click on get started. So if you have a domain like for your company or your organization, you can enter actually and you can, for example, if I add my account for my company, it will work. So this is my ID and I just need to click now on get started. And once I click on get started, actually, I will be able to go in more details and more deep and I can see different products now. So let's see what will happen. 
within the upcoming session, actually, we will learn more about different areas related to Dynamic 365. And if you notice that on all my previous session, actually, I was focusing on Power Platform only. So now I'm trying to cover different areas and to try to to learn more things that we have it from Microsoft. So let's see now what will happen after I choose my account, which is the, the, the same email that I added. Hopefully it will work. Let me wait for a few seconds. OK, perfect. And now this page will ha uh, will appear and we just need like to enter the country like Saudi Arabia and continue. Now, actually, because we select the marketing which is under customer insight, so I'm able to look at this area and for the customers inside. But if you pick any other thing, you will be able to see. So here we go. Now, like we have 100 members, we have 300. You will be able to to get more details and see what kind of things that we have it. Even you can look at the customers, the segments and so on. So this one actually just a quick demo or to show you what kind of things that we have it within this, uh, the one that we choose it under marketing. But the question here, like what if I want to see the products or something that I have it within this uh, Dynamic 365? You can actually, let me from here, you can click here and you can see different things. And from there, if I click on Dynamic 365, just a minute here we go operations also you can discover all of the other like business application that we have it on office like we have from sales as we book for the marketing we have for the service we have operations we have the for the finance so different areas and if you want to look at all the applications that we have it let me show you another link which is we have it under that uh, Microsoft Learn, they already mentioned, but I'm going to copy the link and share it with you. Let me add the link. So before we go to the second link, let, let me show you here what we have. Like here, actually, we have the life cycle services. And from there, actually, like if you are working on any recent project, you will be able to see it here. Like we can see the announcement, the, the different areas that we have it here. If you want to add a new project, you can add from here and so on. You can name the project and you can start working on it. But if I want to see the all the Microsoft 365 products, the link that I will share it with you within the description and the chat, which is here, you will be able to see all the product and all the things that we have it and you can look at it. For example, here, you can look at all the things that we have it from this area, like my recent and even if you shared any file and so on. And but let me check for the business application. If there is any way to look at it from here, there is some area that you can click on business applications and you will be able to see all the application. So, for example, here we have the office, but let me search if we are able to see the business application from here. OK, for for some reasons, actually here we are able to see all the things, all the document, but we supposed to see some something here. We call it like uh, business applications. Let me show you the picture that you, you are able to see it. Just a minute. I'm going to share now. So once you open it, actually, I think it's here. Let me check if I have it. OK, here we go. From here, as they mentioned within the picture, actually, once you click here, you are able to see Office 365 applications, business application, all the application. Within the business application, it means the application that you build it, all the things that related to Dynamic 365. Even you can look at all the application. Even we have a tip and tricks that will help you. So from this link, you will be able to see different like Office 365, products, business application, all the application and even tips and tricks. So this is how we can get an access to the business central from Microsoft three, uh, from Microsoft 365. Now let me ask you like how we can get an access to Dynamic 365 business central, which is I already showed it to you, which is you can go from here and or from here and you can click on it and you will be able to see it or 
you can copy this link, which is all the link. Actually, I'm going to share it with you. Let me add it here, which is businesscentral.dynamics.com. You will be able to go to this web, this area or website. I'm not sure if it will open with me. Actually, I tried before, but for some reasons, uh, it's not opening with me. Uh, I'm not sure why, but hopefully now will work. Let's see. So from this link, actually, you will be able to get an access to all the things and even you can start working and uh, uh, work on the demo database for your uh, environment. So um, this is the message I get every time. So I need to check with the Microsoft team to to get an advice and to know why I'm not able to show me that there is an issue with the license, but I'm going to double check with them. So now let me show you something. It will be a good practice for you actually. And I'm going to share the link with you. I really suggest for you to follow a specific scenario that we have it on uh, Microsoft Learn as a first to start for you because on within the upcoming session, we will learn more things in more detail. So what I really suggest for you, go to the link that I have it within the meetup and go to the unit number six, which is here, uh, exercise sign in to a business central and follow the steps. All the link actually mentioned there and you have two steps to do. First, you need to create a business central account. The same thing that I did it because I have my own account. So it was something really easy for me to put my email and fill the information which is the same step that we did it. Second one, sign in to a business central, which is, this is the link that I show it to you. From there, you can select Dynamic 365 Home and select business central. For me, as I mentioned, I'm, I, I'm not sure why I'm not able to get an access, but I'm trying to, to check and to follow up why I'm not able to get an access. So just follow this exercise will help you to learn more about how we can get an access. And from there, why do you need to follow all these steps? Because within the upcoming sessions, our sessions will depend on the first step that you need to do it here. So all the links will be posted and shared within the description within my videos on my YouTube. Hopefully by tomorrow, I'm going to post the video there. And let's see what we will have for the upcoming session. Today, our session actually just the basic things. It's not in more detail. For the upcoming session, which is next Saturday, uh, we will learn more about how we will work and how we can understand the cloud end to end business solution. And also we will see the core business central functional by browsing the application area. So we will go in more details. And if you are interested to know more, you can go to this link and check what kind of materials, what kind of exercise that we have it. And actually it's a heavy, it's not a heavy topic actually, but we will spend more time. So we will go in different scenarios. We will send the documents to the customer. Even we will do some process and the administrator. As we see here, it's a lot of things that we will learn from the upcoming session. So this is what we I have for you for today. It's a quick session. Uh, it's like an intro session. Hopefully uh, you can follow the, the exercise that I shared with you and see you next Saturday. And if you have any question, you can ask me now or you can uh, ask me through my social media's account. And yeah, it will be a new topic and a new area, but I'm sure it will be an interesting area to learn and to, to develop our skills.